and it's finally here. It's finally here. So today we're going to be looking at the Beluga submarine. This is also known as the Atlas submarine because that's what it's, you know, sort of based off of. And from the outside, we can already see the mod creators. They put their foot in this entire model. And it's incredibly detailed, incredibly detailed. I don't know what it, what is this? Uh, uh, looks like an intercom. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they want to talk to the animals. We got these little things with like two giant, um, two giant speakers on the side. We got the engine right here. Big old engine in the back. We got a whole bunch of glass we can see oh there's an area up there i didn't even know that what the heck you got to explore that when we go inside this sci vessel on the side and then we got the glass on the very front we can see the entire bridge it all looks super awesome and we also have two places that we can dock our vehicles so we have one vehicle docking bay right here for your seamoth and prawn suit and then we have another one back here I don't lie. Yeah, that is about the exterior of the Beluga submarine. And we're going to head on inside. I'm also going to compare it. I'm going to compare the size of this submarine to that of the SEAL, which is another extremely large submarine. Let's see which one's bigger, just to see. Oh, there's a hatch on the top. Didn't even know that. We've got a hatch on the top that we can enter, and there's also one on the bottom. We are inside. The first thing we can see, this thing holds one, two, three, four. So four, eight, 12. 16 power cells, an energy guzzling machine. I mean, my goodness. Got all the glass right here. You can stand on this. And of course you can build inside the submarine. Why is my DPI so long? You can build all inside the submarine. So you can feel free to make this your nice mobile base. Let's head upstairs. All right, so first we're gonna look at the bridge. So we have these little, oh, you can just jump down. That is, that's kind of cool. So we got the bridge here. We got these nice little railings and we have the, you know, obviously the seat where you would drive this thing. And then to the left, we have a bunch of different panels. So we have the eco, I guess it's the eco friendly, which is the slowest setting. We got the normal setting. And then we have, I don't know what IME is, but I'm a guess, I'm gonna just guess emergency. We got the emergency settings. So you turn the engine power on. It comes with its own shield. I can't speak. And then the agility mode. I'm guessing that's gonna make it move super fast. These reef, these reef backs are loud as mess. And then if we go over to the right, we can see there's a little um, hologram of our Atlas slash Beluga submarine. We can toggle the exterior lights and then the interior lights. Actually, let's do that because it is kind of dark. Yeah, let's do nighttime. Let's turn the interior lights on. Ah, uh, how fancy. And then of course we have this little main area right here where you're where you would dock one of your vehicles. I'm gonna try and dock both vehicles and both bays just to see what what happens and whatnot oh yeah we got this big old open area right here you can build stuff in at this open area once again build more stuff in what, what does this lead to oh, okay so we have sort of like a um like a cargo hold down here then come to the back very back we got the other vehicle docking bay right here nice little railing around the sides and then we have the engine room another impressive part of this submarine because it's super detailed engine right here and whenever you turn the engine on this will actually start moving. So I'm going to show you that in a second. We got our upgrades right here where you put the upgrades in. So let's run all the way back and turn the engine on. Uh, it also has a base depth of 2000 meters. So uh, yeah, you can go everywhere with this thing. Engine is very much online and it's moving. Got a, got its nice own little animation. It looks super awesome. I like that, like that very much. This thing is pretty fast as well. I'd also like to throw that out there, especially considering its size. And when I was trying to slow it down, it's also, it also seems like it takes a lot to like slow down. All right, so it's a pretty fast submarine, especially considering how big it is. So whenever you go to the middle of the submarine and you look up, there's going to be this hatch right here. This one leads outside the submarine. And then we have a hatch right here that leads up to this area, which I guess you can turn this as like your own personal room if you wanted, or, you know, whatever you felt like turning this into. I'd probably turn this into like a, um, like a little research quarters or something, especially because these windows are right here. So, you know, you can study creatures that you're in the biome with or whatever. All right. So first we're going to try to dock our sea moth in this thing. Which I'm pretty sure it already works. Yep. Nice some live. Let me in here. Oh, we got our Seamoth sitting right there. Nice and docked, sitting right in there. So that's nice. Oh my gosh, the sounds. It's got its own custom sounds for like docking and exiting the, the submarine. That's awesome. Okay, so it is like I thought. So you can't enter the. You can't dock your sea moth in the back of the submarine, but you can dock it in the front. So can you dock the prawn suit in the front and the back? Because I know the prawn suit 100% is able to go back there because it's like a super thin docking area. So let me see. Nope. Okay. So two separate docking bays for two separate vehicles. Your sea moth goes in the front, prawn suit goes in the back. Gotcha. That's why this one's thinner. 
Oh, that looks nice, actually. Oh, you know what we didn't test? The lights. I wanted to test the lights to see how strong the lights were on this thing. Because I did see a few lights. This thing also has some different cameras that you can cycle through. So that's also nice. But let's make it nighttime. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Turn the lights off. Okay, yep, those lights are powerful. Look how far that range is. Is there like a front camera I can look in? All right, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Those lights are super strong. So that's really nice. It's going to illuminate. Look at all that stuff over there. You can see all that in the distance. That is crazy. Okay, so we've gone over the majority of the features. We've seen the entire interior of the submarine. Now, I want to compare it. So we have two of the biggest modded submarines in Subnautica. We got the SEAL submarine on the left, and then we got the Beluga submarine on the right. And I feel like these two submarines are both large, larger in their own ways. The Beluga is larger than the SEAL in the sense that, you know, as far as length goes, because it's definitely a longer submarine. But the SEAL is a much, uh, how do I put this, a uh, thicker submarine, I guess you can say. These two are great submarine mods though. I love both of these. So hopefully in Subnautica 2, we get submarines of this size because this is freaking awesome just to look at. Imagine being a tiny fish and just looking up and seeing these two freaking giant beasts. But yeah, that was the Beluga submarine mod. Super awesome. And I was waiting on this one for a really, really long time, you know, for it to come out of like early, early access. So it'd be open to the public for everybody to use. Because I've seen people use this mod before, but like not everybody had access to it. And now it's actually on Nexus, so everybody can download it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. Gosh, this thing looks amazing.